Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, come on over. Hello. Hi. When the war started and I made videos showing that it's possible to be able to create sustained peace under conditions in which other people are at war. Well, look, there's an egret. Oh, I hope I'm getting him in. Oh, they're so beautiful. See that white egret flying there? Oh, they're so gorgeous. And uh, some people left comments like, uh, yeah, it's the quiet before the storm. And, uh, you know, all sorts of negativity like that. And I said to them, you're wrong. <laughs> because peace is a product of, of the consciousness that is projecting itself on the creation. It's not dependent on what's going on outside of us. What's going on seemingly on the outside is a reflection of what, what's going on the inside. And if you, control, if you can control your mind and your emotions, you can create peace under any circumstances. And uh, a lot of people didn't believe me. So here we are. The war is winding down and everything around me is still peace and always has been. Uh, there have been times when there have been sirens or uh, I heard something about drones. I don't know what it is, but it's always a report that I hear about and not my own experience and I, I want to talk about that about the difference between hearing and hearing about the difference between actually seeing something directly experiencing it and getting a report a second third hand report about something even our own senses can fool us if we're not in control of, of our ability to create reality. Certainly the reports we hear from other people. Yeah? Any report that you get from someone else, unless it's from someone you know and trust, and you know that their intentions are good in reporting it to you. There goes some more egrets. Oh, this is the time of warning. Oh my God, I love them. Um, disregard it. Simply disregard it. There's nothing in the news that you want to hear unless it's a direct reflection of something that you know to be eternally true and it is a temporary expression of that which you want to be eternally true. Yeah? So all of the reports that you're getting about things from professional journalists, from uh, doomsday or uh, YouTubers, uh, from uh, people uh, who uh, don't have something to say but they have to say something on uh, Twitter and uh, whatever all of that is, simply disregard it if you want peace in your life. It's not your reality. It's their reality. You can have compassion for them that they're experiencing something like that. If you're in control enough of your own consciousness, you can reach out to them and explain to them that peace comes from within. Um, and hope that they'll be ready to listen to it. 
but any reports that you hear about something, if it is not, you know, it's it's like when somebody brings a, a, a some like a delivery company brings a package, right? And let's say you live on a in an apartment building, and there are a number of apartments on your floor. If if they put that package down, even if it's your next door neighbor's package, but it has their name on it and not your name on it, you don't open it. It's not meant for you. What I'm saying is that the war that may be meant for your neighbor is not meant for you unless it has your name on it. If God doesn't directly deliver something to you, it is not intended for you. Mind your business. You do not have to get into the imaginings of people. Uh, the birdie said, oh. You do not have to get into the imaginings of people that are miserable. Their misery need not be yours. You can have compassion for them, but there is nothing compassionate about diving into their sewer. That's not compassion, there goes another regret. That is stupidity. Always, always stay on the bank of the river. Never ever fall into the river of somebody else's consciousness. Do not go with the flow unless you want to go where that flow is going. It is not meant for you. And in a, in a state of war, your government is going to be sending out all of these, we're all in this together, we're all this, we're all that. Well, I'll tell you what, regularly, your government whatever country you live in, hands out all kinds of bonuses and, 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 and prizes, and they have all kinds of fancy uh, cocktail parties and whatever it is. If you're not invited in that, all of us are in this together, then you don't have to accept all of the negativity. Let those for whom it is intended deal with it. You do not have to get into a war unless the bomb falls on your head. You do not have to. Misery loves company and they'll all be saying, we're all in this, we're all under attack. We're all... Not true. They are under attack. Your job, if you want to be compassionate, is to tell them that they don't have to be experiencing what they're doing and hope that they're not too arrogant to disregard you. That is all you need to do. You are not required to vicariously go to every funeral. This is a lie because the minute their life will be good, you won't be invited. You're not going to be invited to that kulano. All of us in this together. Right? If you're not getting increments to your social security payments every time the, 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 your government gives itself a raise and a bonus, then it's not about all of us. Never, ever sacrifice your peace for those who don't love peace. I know what I'm saying is ex exactly what you've been taught the opposite. That every time somebody makes themselves miserable, you have to get all involved in it. You've got to save them. You cannot save anyone but you. The way in which you help others is by modeling how a person whose consciousness is under control, manages their life and what their world looks like. And then they make the choice of deciding whether or not they want their reality to look like. But if you think that you're going to help somebody by, by commiserating vicariously 
along with them on the basis of a second, third, fourth hand report, not only are you delusional, it's a very, very bad kind of a delusional. Very, very unhealthy. Get a grip. Thank you for listening. How do I turn this thing off?